Okay, race five. It's the Cleave Hurdle. It's a grade two. And there's some good horses in here. Well, the previous winners is over three miles. And number one is Prime Suspect. Two is Badder Sierra. Three, Dresden Dynamo. Four, Dustmaster. Five, eight, a mystery. Six, Galadriel's LK. Seven, Grainy Amor. Eight is Johnny Cash. Nine is Paddy's Return. Ten is Espana Senorita. Eleven is Facon Melancholic. So, eleven of them over this grade two, three miles. The Cleave Handicap hurdles away. Take the first flight comfortably. It's Johnny Cash that leads us with Paddy's return. These two, Paddy's returns, uh, going to challenge Johnny Cash. We know Johnny Cash likes to front run. But these two look like they're going to take a share into the second. They both rise together, and everybody else is over it. So it's Paddy's return and Johnny Cash already taken uh, a four-length advantage over the rest. Just at the rear at the moment is Espana Senorita and Grainy Amor. We take the third. These two have uh, taken this off at quite a good pace here. They're already getting starting to get strung out of uh, half a mile. That's Johnny Cash and Paddy's return together by five to Dresden Dynamo and Dustmaster together. And Gladriel's okay. The outside of that is Prime Suspect, Bada Sierra, Eight's a Mystery, and Facon Melancholic. And then just Espana Signorita from Grainy and Moore. There are probably another four lengths detached from that pack. But up front, Paddy's return and Johnny Cash, hand in hand. Paddy's giving Johnny some cash. And Johnny's returning it. As they come downhill for the first time. They'll come into the home straight and the crowd. I have another circuit to go. Johnny Cash and Paddy's return. Although their advantage now just been shortened by Dresden Dynamo on the inside. On the outside of that is a Galadriel's Elk. Three wide is Dustmaster. Four wide is Prime Suspect. They're being followed through by Bada Sierra and Facon Melancholic. And eight's a mystery. Espana Senorita's managed to get himself towards the pack. And sadly we can't see Granny Amor at all. I hope nothing's gone wrong with that one. So we're going to go past the grandstands here in the finishing line. It's about three furlongs away at the moment. <laughs> and no, they don't go past the finishing line, do they, here at Cheltenham? There's that little shoot going uphill. I think I'd know it by now. I'll apologise this week. Some of the races run over the hunt and the flat. A few of you have got your silks messed up again. Sorry, that's Molly Itz, Carl Arrogante, and even Alex Cherry's been misfortunate this week, so I do apologise, guys. I'm trying to fix it. It's just... Uh, not working at the moment. So anyway, back to the race as they start the upward hill climb. It's Johnny Cash and Paddy's return still leading us by about three to Gladriel's Elke and Dresden Dynamo. Dresden Dynamo. Faka Melancholic is there. Badassier against the fence. Prime Suspect still four wide. Inside of that is Dustmaster. And just to the rear is Prime Suspect. Sorry, eight's a mystery in Espana Senorita. And we've not seen Grainy more for some time, but he still seems to be plugging on around. They take the seventh. Oh, and we're losing one here. Espana Senorita's being pulled up. Bad luck, Mr. Thompson. Always at the rear. Always a danger. But it's Johnny Cash and Paddy's return. Still in front. Oh, their advantage has always been shortened by Galadriel's Elk and Dresden Dynamo. And Badassier and Dustmaster. Prime Sustex still the widest. Eight's the mystery. Facon Melancholic. And I'll eat my hat if we don't lose Granny or more, but we're losing Fac on Melancholic now, also being pulled up, so that's two two down. I will add to the competition next week the pull ups over the Cheltenham uh, races as your bonus points for the competition. If you remember rightly, I think it was 28 last year. There's a little tip for you. A lot of us. Uh, and they go over the 10th. A lot of us picked uh, very high numbers in the 40s. I think David Robertson was the closest, if I remember. Anyway, to back to this race, the Cleave Hurdle. And it's Paddy's return and Johnny Cash. 
by two to Dresden, Dynamo and Gladriel's Elk, then Dustmaster and Balasiera, and they're followed through by eight Semistry and Prime Suspect, and Grainy Amor is somewhere on the course. Well, we certainly haven't seen him for a long time. So up front, it's Johnny Cash that starts to push his horse along now, with only five furlongs to go. It's Johnny Cash from Paddy's Return. Then we've got Dresden Dynamo, Gladriel's Elk on the outside. Is Bada Sierra cruising well? Hates the mystery's got himself no room. Against the fence is Dustmaster. And Prime Suspect just in the rear at the moment of what we can see. So up front is Paddy's return. Johnny Cash being joined by Bada Sierra at the moment. Out of the pack comes Gladriel's Elke. Then we've got Dresden Dynamo. Hates the mystery starting to run on now. But up front it's all changed. It's Bada Sierra that leads inside the three furlongs. Bada Sierra from Gladriel's Elk. Paddy's return having another go. In fourth is eight a mystery and running on well. Johnny Cash is going backwards. Dustmaster under some pressure as is Dresden Dynamo and Prime Suspect. But up front is Bada Sierra and Gladriel's Elk. These two are going to go into the last together. The one chasing hard now is eight a mystery. But it's Bada Sierra and Gladriel's Elk. Bada Sierra starting to pull away now. They go into the twelfth. They're all over it. A better fast jump there by Paddy's return trying to have a return. But it's Bada Sierra that leads by a couple now. Gladriel's Elk starting to go backwards. And here comes eight a mystery inside the final half of Furlong. So it's Bada Sierra eight a mystery on the outside. Here comes Prime Suspect but it's Bada Sierra. Eight a mystery starting to catch him. Bada Sierra eight a mystery just gets over the top of him. Takes it. The cleave hurdle goes to eight a mystery for Joshua Sutherland. Bad luck there for Bada Sierra just getting caught in the line. I think Prime Suspect got up for third. A half a furlong, anything could have happened. So it is eight a mystery that takes it the favourite. Well done. Second was Bada Sierra for Molly at Surfer. Third was Prime Suspect for Paul Rhodes. Fourth looks like Galadriel Zelke, I think. I'll wait for the card to finally pop up. No, fourth was Paddy's return for John Morgan. Fifth was Galadriel Zelke for David Robertson. So Joshua Sutherland, well done.